All right. Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one Nolly. How are all my adventures doing? Hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day. If you're not, hopefully some of this will, you know, relax you a little bit. But new update for yesterday just came out and it is a future little preview. Just telling us that Mage expansion is coming soon. Well, Mage Evolution is coming soon. So Mage is our final like class that is actually getting reworked. So Necromancer and Wizard path will be drastically different right now. So if you guys want to go ahead, take pictures, memorize all of those skills that are currently, you know, under Mage, you can. Because a lot of these are going to change. And probably with the same as the other classes, that a lot of these skills are going to become passives. So that's something to also keep in mind. I've never played Wizard at all. So part of me is like very curious of like everything that changes with this. Crazy part is, um, I still never got the whole resist thing. Cause it's not like you can look at their resist and automatically know what they're more effective about. So I never seen wizard be like too effective in that sense of the area. Cause you never know, like, like I said, you never know what they're strong at. All right, we got done and we we're supposed to go back here because we're going to the wetlands, yeah. I can actually go through there, probably through here, right? That sounds about right. But anyway, yeah, I'm not sure of everything that's going to change. I do have a Necromancer that I stopped playing completely just just start this series i'm gonna try and get this series done by the end of this month because there is a, another game that i really want to play for the channel that comes up soon actually there's actually two games that i actually want to play as a series for this channel real soon so we're gonna have three series going on I'm going to try and manage them as much as I can. I mean, one of them is Power World. I know a lot of you guys have heard about it right now. It's early access for quite a few people three years early. And that is something I'm very interested to try out just because it fits with my with the theme of my game, which is a creature correct creature collector. And the second one is something I've been looking forward to since like two years now, which is a Grand Grand Blue Fantasy Relink. And I'm really interested to see how that plays out. Then towards the end of the year where it's like, well, no, is it the end of the year or is it? It's March the 22nd, isn't it? Which is, um, Dragon Dogma 2. I'm pretty sure it's at the end of... Is it March the 22nd? I don't believe it is. That's not getting my dates wrong. But Dragon Dogma is going to be... Well, Dragon Dogma 2 is going to be freaking amazing. I played Dragon Dogma 1 when it first, like, released years ago. And that was, like, as a kid when I still had like when I still had like um the Xbox 360 when the Xbox 360 was usually you know, still popular back then I don't think I have the case around here I actually might because I have a lot of my old Xbox cases I still have my 360 I'm not sure how much it still works though considering it's probably been collecting a crap ton of dust
All right, we're in the Misty Lands. All right, now we can start our adventure here. You we'll also get some TP stones out of that, which would be nice. Oh, I forgot to open that. Oh, it's dog water anyway. I do want to hurry up and get rid of a lot of these sprites. That is a weird attack on a horse. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. That, that just threw me off. I've never seen combat horses fight. They just kick bullets. The f what the f <laughs> Okay. Oh, dude, these quests are green. I have to finish these. Oh, yeah, I am severely outloving all of these quests. Um, crap, okay. All right, let's do everything around here and turn these in. Because the further we go in, the more, the higher the level quests. Uh, I will save my soul here just in case. And we'll get started. Oh, uh, you can collect mounts. This is something I forgot to talk about the mutated dungeon. You can get mounts out of the mutated dungeon. Uh, I think history will show that. This is the mutated dungeon. Yeah. But they're not combat mounts. They're just normal mount mounts. Mounts? Am I good? <laughs> And you can also get, you know, potions out of it, too. This is a recent thing. I've never seen them do this. They didn't even talk about adding potions to this, to this drop. Only the mount. Where the hell did the potions come from? There's actually two mounts you can get from each boss. That, that just threw me off. Hold on a second. So, what do you give? Do you give the same thing? Okay, yeah, you give the same thing. You? Okay, same thing. Okay. Then the floor bosses. What about the mutated dungeons for these? Mutated Mines. Okay, Mutated Mines also gives the same thing, too. There's nothing special to any of these anymore. Well, I don't think there really was much anything special except for the stones, actually. Okay. If you get these, I would say collect these because these are for special... Um, well, the game really doesn't tell you about these or the blueprints or how to use them. These are special uh, material used to create orange sets that are around certain cities. Jail, Kazlo, and... Oh, well, Kazlo have these... All three major cities have blueprints. The game just doesn't tell you about them. That's the issue. Okay, all these should be able to... Yeah, I should be able to finish this pretty quick. If I stop talking. <laughs> easiest way we can get a combat mount is probably by buying it. I don't, I don't think there's any, like... Buying it through an auction house is what I should say to make that more clear. I don't think there's any, like, pay to like free to play way to get a combat mount from what I remember but then again I haven't really explored too much into that since all I do is farm gold on my main and sell stuff to get my uh, gold which I have the time and patience for this series doesn't have time and patience even though I've been trying to have time and patience for it 
I was like, damn, these enemies are spread the hell out. But there is a wee easy way to do alchemy, at least. Is through those horse mounts if you can farm those, uh. Okay, that came. If you could farm those, uh, mounts from Mutated. The only issue is, is the magic clay pieces that you need for it. Magic clay pieces are the main issue because you would have to buy that from Auction House. I think there's a way to get magic pieces. I'm not sure if anybody in the comment actually knows of a free to play way to get magic pieces. That'd be great to put down in the comments. Um. I want to say next week I will try and do the actual like next I guess guide is what I want to say just because I was looking well for the next for the last few days I've been looking around YouTube and seeing like oh well that's sending me to to all the way up there but um I've been looking around YouTube and there's most guys that are actually out right now. Nothing has changed for them. Nothing new or different, except for a little bit of things that no, some people never went up, never went over some newer things that were added. And besides everything else, everything else is still the same. So if you guys find any guides, they're not outdated. They're really not. Unless they're like class guides, then they're outdated because of the reworks. Huh. So yeah, that's the one thing to keep in mind. Oh, whoops. No, don't give me that. I wasn't trying to do that. Okay, so this quest is inside a scorching. Why is this game always trying to take my gold, man? My gold. Wait, is this out of scorching or did I read that wrong? Oh no, it's in the the Lost Highlands. I was just there. Why would you make me go back? Since I actually have gold now. I guess I can start teleporting normally. Wait. Oh, Lost Highlands, you fucking idiot. <laughs> God damn it. Negative two gold, by the way. Game. Oh my god, don't, don't do this again. Hey, hey, game. Thank you. Oh, negative five gold. Wait, is this a transition quest? Are they trying to transition me over here? I 
probably shouldn't do that quest. If they are trying to transition me over here. Yeah, it is a transition quest. Okay, so I see how Grand Fantasia is set up. Because I've never, like I told you guys, I've never done the full chain quests of every last map. So, I normally just go by one region. So, I started in Blue Bay. I went here, then here, then here, then here. It is actually, you're supposed to do every last area that reaches your level. That's what I'm pretty sure it's set up as, because it moves you between these levels, because... Once you start getting past um, this area, you can see that there's a level jump right here. And there's no other areas besides... Yeah, this is the Kazlo area. All right here is the Kazlo area. Kazlo is missing... Why do I keep saying Kazlo? Kazlau is missing a level 42 to level 48 and is also missing a level 56 to level 59 area that is that is why i'm pretty sure you're supposed to do every last area of your level so i guess i'll do iron beach then Blue Bay. Then I would do Shell, Shell Hill. But for me, I kind of don't want to do that because I want to save quest for my reincarnation. That's just me. So if anything, I would do two areas at best. So I would just do these two, then do the next two, then the next two, then the next two. I think that's how I would do it. Just to save a quest line for my uh, reincarnation. I wish reincarnation 3 was out by now so we can have some new skills as well. But they haven't even done reincarnation 2 yet. <laughs> so we're, we're going to see how that all plays out. <laughs> I'm interested to see how it all plays out, honestly. But we're getting close. Negative. Negative uh, eight gold. <laughs> Probably nine. Uh, these seeds, wh where are they from? Let's see. Perfect seeds are from the plants. Oh, I should have been picking up their bags. But. Like I said, Mage Expansion is coming. Well, Mage Evulsion is coming. Rework. Brain. And once that rework comes through, we'll probably have a chance of seeing Reincarnation. Wait, did you fail a mission? I don't think you failed a mission. Huh. Rotten seeds. Okay, yeah, it's, it is what I thought it was. It's one of these quests. It's luck based for drops and for the drop actually giving something good. Oh, this is going to be annoying. Okay, dude. We're going to be on this quest for a while. Let's see, do we get anything we need? It's another rotten. Okay. Yep, this is this is gonna be a long freaking day. I might have to summon a sprite to clean up stuff.
Oh my god. That is three in a row that we've gotten rotten. Let's let's not do this. Let's not play this game. Oh my god, that is four rotten seeds. I swear to god, if it's 50-50 and I'm getting hoed, you see, you see why I don't really play gacha games? This is this is why. This is my luck. This is exactly why I stopped playing gacha games. That and I have bad impulses. <laughs> what is going on, dude? Like, what are these? What are the chances? And the fact that I need three of them does not help. Oh, I forgot. Sprites can't stay out on normal mounts. Oh, I'm gonna hate life. Oh, I'm actually gonna hate life. Jesus Christ, dude. I'm not gonna pick that one up because that was gray apparently. Oh my god. Oh I'm gonna hate this. Oh no, please, for the love of god. I hate quests like this. Especially gray quests. Well beige bag quests like this. See if it was like one of the normal quests, you know, like this with this little symbol next to it, it would give me a guarantee blue bag. This quest doesn't have guaranteed blue bags. <laughs> All I'm getting is blue balls at this point, and it's becoming very annoying. Game, please, for the love of God. These enemies are also very spread out, so this doesn't help at all. Oh my god, are you... Are all these... They're, they're dropping? Okay. Those two were gray. I have my sprite to only pick up items that are above gray. So if he doesn't pick them up, they're automatically gray. And they're trash items. Okay, let's... Go ahead. Okay. Okay. <sighs> oh boy. Seven. Seven bad seeds and one perfect seed. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. One more. Thank God. We're finally almost done with this quest. This is stupid. <laughs> I hate these type of quests the most. They're annoying to deal with. Alright, I gotta go to the other side because the spawns over here. Well, I think if I start killing jellyfish, it would actually start resetting them a lot faster. Okay. Uh, thank you. Thank you. What's what's that? Ah, uh, dash it. Wait, is that what I need? Oh no, it's not for my class. Dashing strike for bruh warriors. Please, for the love of God, stop. Can I have my item?
You're derailing my progress. Thank you. Holy sh... No more of this. Oh, hi. Get away from me. Now I gotta go over there with the spiders. Usually the only time I would come to this area. Oh, wow, that was a short quest. Jesus Christ, that was short. But the only time I would come to this area is just for the sunken mechanical fortress. Which, like I said, is one of the most annoying dungeons because of the security system. Little bots in there that hit hard with magic damage. That hits very hard with magic damage. So I, I'm thinking of getting two shot by those. <laughs> so I might have to go off and farm a lot of my uh, scrolls is what I'm thinking. A lot of these, a lot of my blueprints for my uh, talents. So I have to figure out what drops what and go out looking for that crap and getting ready to do that. Uh, that's got to be so much fun. Just can't can't wait for that. Huh? Nani, where am I? Anyway. Uh, OK, I'm looking for the rock one. No, not the female ones. Am I looking for the female ones? I'm looking for the cases. Okay, these. This is, that's also a reason why I recommend you guys have loot buttons somewhere on your hotbar. Because just in case it goes inside of a tree which or some unpassable area that happens a lot you can reach it but just collect loot how does it say it's right here unless i'm blind Yeah, it says it's right here in the middle. Huh. Odd. I'll probably be coming back here for a boss or something, probably. But uh, once we touch level 60 and start doing our class change is when we... Um, We'll do our next dungeon. Because we talked about it in the last video that it is going to keep sucking if we keep having to rerun every dungeon that we pass. Pass through just to level up because it takes for it takes forever to get that XP. So basically, we're going into those dungeons way too early to where we can't buy our uh, to where we can't use the the monster board quests before we go in. 
and power farming is it too much of a thing anymore thanks to the updated quests so there's actually more of a reason to just go around and do the quests of the map <laughs> now it'll probably be a, a thing you're gonna have to do uh when you reincarnate that's for sure dungeon pow power leveling is definitely gonna have to be a thing as soon as you reach that end game i recommend as soon as you hit level 100 you reincarnate Okay, so now I am level 57. Uh, let's see. So we need to take this letter to... Apparently they're not in this scene. Wait a minute, is this a dungeon quest? Ain't no fucking way. Okay, no. No, this is somebody else. It's not telling me who to send this to. Hold on. It's a person in jail. Son of a bitch. <laughs> About to say, this game has to remember that I literally don't remember most NPC names because they're not memorable. Considering a lot of them look the same or reskinned, mostly all these NPCs don't look unique to me, to where I remember their names. <laughs> That's actually a main flaw with X Legend games is that most of their NPCs aren't rememberable. Just the location of where things happen is rememberable to us. Oh, there was something else I forgot to talk about in that last video. Um, there's one thing I'm sure X Legends is not going to get out of. And that is... That is this. Anything that has to deal with this. <laughs> These magic tables are in all of their games. And I don't think they're ever going to get over this system. I don't think they're ever going to get out of it. They're going to keep doing this. Oh my god, is Cage here? Oh no, Cage isn't here. I was about to say, oh, dude. We might have to, like, full save up for Cage rune. But no, it's not in there. Sedge. That's pretty Sedge. Uh, anywho, uh, spiders. Destroy. Also, why did this change? Stop that. I will never change you. Don't know why you keep changing every time. I think I like the attack speed one a lot more. It's just easier on the farming. Especially if it activates, I could just kill a lot more things faster. Bagel will deal with you. Come on, kill him, Bagel. Oh, I saw that crit. Good job. Good job, Bagel. Anyway, back to this dude. But I do like the fact that I can do, like, each area 
for each video. I don't mind doing it that way. I actually like doing it this way. It's like, kind of like a each area series type of thing. I kind of did want to, you know, get more into editing. But personally, I just don't have time for that. That's why this, like, these videos are more of, like, relaxing for me at the moment. Because I used to, like, make... I used to make, like, a lot of funny montages with, like, series that I actually finished. But for some reason, dude, I just don't have the most entertainment value for uh, MMOs. Even though I do enjoy them, it's just trying to be funny during them is it's difficult for me. <laughs> just like I don't have that funny bone as much as I do for like a random game. Dang, this quest is all the way out here. Guess I might as well hit this dude and get their quest. I guess the most in-game thing you can do is max out all your reputations. Because by the time you get done with just like one area, because we did our full uh, Kazlau playthrough to where we finished all of this area and got their XP. There are actually different places on Gravitation that give uh, Kazlo XP. It's just like way further in now. And it's kind of funny that this area is, a, is across the map. This area is across the map and this is giving us gel uh, reputation. Because, um, hold on, let me, let me hide my VTuber for a second. Because you can see here, this just gave us 195 gel points. And this isn't even the area for gel. Which kind of confuses me on how most of this, on which area is which. And what belongs to which place? <laughs> I don't know anymore, to be honest. Collect spring from the fountain of youth. Wait, what? Excuse me? Oh, hey. You're my boss that I need. Like we just got we just casually got the fountain of youth out here. Why aren't we drinking from it? To where we actually become like immortal or something. <laughs> now it wants me to walk all the way across the map again. To go all the way back there. Uh, let's turn in this quest since that quest is heading way past it apparently. Because this quest is... Hello? Yeah, let's not keep doing this, okay? Thank you. What? You're gonna give me a freaking... Jerks. Here it is. Uh, that's a very P quest. Nope. This.
I guess we'll touch on this area as well. I'm guessing this is goblin territory. Oh, the Fountain of Youth is all the way up there. What the hell? I hope they do something about their map and fix that. Because having the top of this cut off is cutting off a lot of information that you technically need. Hopefully they revamp maps in general, honestly. To where it displays a lot more information of like what NPCs have what, like a formula icon somewhere. Because there's a lot of random NPCs that actually have formulas that most players don't know about. Because there's a formula dude inside of, um, where is it? We've ran into it before. There's a, yeah, here he is. There's a dude that stands right next to this altar inside of a Southern Island. I haven't figured out what he makes or what items I, where I need the items or where I get the items that he needs to craft any of that stuff yet. Fountain of Youth just being randomly guarded by uh, goblins. Noted. This really doesn't look like a Phantom of Youth. It looks more like King Arthur type of situation. Oh, Bagel's still fighting. Damn it, Bagel. Okay, we're out of combat, so he should stop. Oh. Apparently Karen is not on this map. Karen is my guess a transition into uh, the next map. Yep. This is our transition quest. We're gonna go ahead and take that off. So let's go all the way back down there and uh, turn in our quest so we can start doing these. Oh my god, it's another... F well, at least it's a collect quest and not a processing quest. Speaking of processing, throw, throw this crap out. This is useless. Did you get all your stamina back? Okay, yeah. Ah, can't wait to hate this dungeon. I'm really hoping I got a lot of good skills to come out of this dungeon. Like, I'm really hoping so. Actually, is this our next dungeon? Hold on, let me make sure of something. Because if this is our next dungeon, I do want to save my soul here instead. Okay, no, nah, ancient. Ancient. That's what it was. Ancient City. Ancient City is our next dungeon. Then after Ancient City, it is 
It is this. So, yeah. Ancient City, I don't remember being that difficult. I just remember it being long. Not like extremely long, but decently long. I do remember if you want to kill everything inside of a sunken fortress, then it is actually pretty, well, not even pretty, very, very long. But who knows? I it, Everything might go faster. If I can get my weapons up. I definitely got to make my next uh, orange weapon very soon. And I'm going to try and hold off for my level 61 sprite, if I can find one. Either that or a... Um, either that or a firearm sprite would actually be nice too. Which is just basically whichever one shows themselves. Okay, XP, nice. 30, well, 43. How much more do I have? Quite a lot. Oh, my phone's going off. Where is it? Okay, turn that off. Hopefully I don't have to make uh, more arrows in a few seconds. Oh my god. Yeah, sometimes your sprites can also go fully stupid and not be able to reach certain items. That's also the, something to keep in mind. That your sprites aren't completely reliable on their pathing either. That's kind of why I did dislike having them pick up items. And I also dislike myself picking up items because the pathing is no better. <laughs> uh, I don't have any more rocks, so we're going to switch to scavenging. I guess I can get you to collect rocks. What stage are... Okay, yeah, you're good. You can collect those. Damn, dude, you wanted that? And... Okay. That's halfway across the map, brother. Just want you to know that. You wanted me to travel all the way back halfway across the map just to get you that? But then again, I guess we are Avengers, you know what? Hey, I guess somebody has to do the dirty work around here. But, Jesus, I didn't expect there to be so many games already releasing this year that are very close together that I have to... that I want to get the most out of. So I'm hoping Grand Blue Relink is actually very good. 
If it is, I'm going to be very sad. Going to be a very, very sad person, you know? So it, it better be freaking fantastic. I was about to say, is it all Crocs or just that one? It takes, like I said, it takes forever for sprites to grab stuff. So if you're if you're like a really extremely fast killer, just pick up stuff under your feet, dude. That that's all I can tell you. The sprites are way too slow at picking up stuff. That's why people normally try and stand in front of them and gather them all up in one place in AOE. Just so the sprite can doesn't have to go back and forth picking up everything. Okay, so I can no longer do that thing with that sprite right now. But damn it, I'm still missing one more. Hopefully this is the last one. Okay, there we go. Done with that quest. Uh, any other quests near us that we can just do right off the bat? Uh, okay, this one. This one's fine. We can go do that, I guess. Because I think we're done with all the quests that are down here. Really? I don't need the blood crystal. I need the actual normal resources. Thank you. Go get them. Now. Do your job. Make sure there's no, uh, evolution change for Sprite yet. Okay, so we're looking for fruit. Oh, I'm going to need to save a lot of gold, so I need to actually keep my crafting down to a minimum. Because we got to remember that my um, class change skills are coming up and they're all going to be very expensive. That's a repeat quest that people can farm if they want to. Any repeatable quests is sellable as long as you guys 
get like the 250 stack, people will automatically buy it. And to be honest, they're actually worth selling. Because you can get like a smooth um, 1,000 to 2,000 out of them for that stack. Well, it depends on the level. Most of them around like level 60 to 70 go for like 2,000. If you can collect a lot of them, you're good. But it's also going to be a competitive spot too for higher levels. Considering a lot of people like to farm those areas. But that's also why I tell you guys, you can also go into dungeons and farm these. Because these actually sell for a good like 300 to 500. There's an auction house I could I could show you because there's probably is somebody out there that's just selling them. Oh god, I had to walk all the way down there. If I turn this in, I might as well just go over here and do these too. But say then again, these are just one and dones. Okay, really? You're making it difficult, man. I'm gonna need you to calm down. But on my reincarnation, I'm definitely going through Jell's path. Well, I kind of have to, to be honest. Because I already done most of, like, this side, Ilya's path. Because I have to do this, then this. Then we'll end up... Wait, will we end up here? No, I think we transition down here. Yeah. After we're done with this, it's going to transition us down here. Or at least it should. Oh my god, they gave us a charm? The fuck? I did not expect that. That's the first actual good quest reward that I've seen us run into so far. I wasn't even paying attention to it because most of the stuff we get is mediocre. Just gold and... and Reward chest, and that's it. No way they can do that for high levels too, right? Because I haven't really done too much high level quests since I power leveled myself through dungeons for my druid. Actually, wouldn't even be that hard to do do it again. <laughs> what? Go oh, fuck! Excuse me. You son of a bitch. <laughs> Brother really wants me to go up here and just collect map, map pieces. That threw me off because there is a like treasure treasure map searching. Or treasure hunting stuff. I forgot how you get them, right? Aren't they through like um 
what was it? Do those little reward bags, if I remember correctly? That you can get like map pieces, put them together, and you get like this little map you can travel through. It's like another little instance. I barely do those. I don't remember if they give anything good. I think I've only ever done them once and thought to myself, nah, this isn't worth it. Let's turn it then. Guess we'll turn in this one too. So we head up here didn't do that. You know, I never looked at the sky in this, on this map. That is airy as shit, Jesus. <laughs> like, holy crap, that is eerie. Anyway, let's finish out these uh, one takes. Then we'll do the quest chains. Replying to somebody in the comments. Okay. Oh wow, that dropped nothing. Um Oh, well thank you for all three pieces. Oh yeah, this is another quest that normally gets put inside of an auction house. That's another one you can sell. Just from the mariners over here. Right. Okay, I was about to say, where's the other piece? Here it is, right there. I was like, no, wait a minute, did it disappear? Um, where is this person? They're all the way over there. Let me go ahead and grab the other stuff over here, which is through the Sand Pals. I must say, isn't that Columbus? I actually remember that NPC, because he was actually quite annoying to kill way back then. Now, not so much with the reworks. Uh, we still have another. Yeah, we have another one, which break the totems. Um. Oh, he didn't drop anything. I was about to say, wait a minute. I say you're missing one.
And that should be it. Let him grab it. Before I get on my mount. Uh, let's go destroy the totems. Whoops, we got auto teleport was still on. Okay, so they're decently spaced out, to be honest. I will say this, when Grand Fantasia first relaunched and there was like a whole bunch of players, it was annoying to get quests done. Because it was one of those... If you've if you've played, um... Wow. You, you guys know the issue. It is basically when you have to sit there and compete against who can get a kill first. That actually still happens inside of Eat Internal to where people are sitting at the bosses waiting for it to respawn and it has like an actual respawn timer to where you have to wait and compete against each other for it. The thing is, is out of a Twin Saga or Astral Tale, it, um, you don't have to compete for it. You just have to actually like hit it. I like that system a lot better. Either that or you guys can be in a party. Well, yeah, in Gravitation, you had to be in a party in order for everybody to get it. Oh, there's one all the way back there, apparently. So was it a nuisance back then? Yes, 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 it was. It was, it was very much a nuisance to try and get, like, to try and get like bosses if somebody wasn't willing to party with you and they ended up getting it but that was way back then now that there's less players it's a lot easier to quest i'm not gonna lie to you it there's that's the only weird thing is if you are a solo player or a duo it's a lot easier to quest because you don't have to compete with each other and even if you felt like you had to compete with each other. You didn't have to because you can just party up with somebody. And as long as you guys are partied, you, you can actually like get those kills. And if you were worried about like, if you were worried about like drop quests, if you are partied with somebody, as long as you are in that party and they kill it, it drops an individual blue bag for you. If they're not even on that quest and they kill it, you can still get that blue bag. The blue bags are are uh, individual for individual people. Which is how I wish loot was, but you know, can't do that. Thought about all the ways. All the ways people can abuse um, the loot system if it was individual to everybody. But the way, uh, at least the way the Grand is set up right now. Oh, it's you. Let's click the wrong person. Oh, I'm full. Because they gave me that. Um, get rid of those. Those pop up way too often in the late game. Why do I still have this when I can't use it? I didn't even realize there was um there was a vendor here. I know we don't carry approved potions just because right now they're technically still useless for me to carry. Since um they don't really improve anything. They're just another thing you can use as 
just in case you run out of normal potions. Wait a minute. Okay, so hold the fuck up. I, I figured it was kind of weird. So I can get... <laughs> so I can get family XP. Or reputation. And I, there's also this reputation in here. Or is it all... I guess it's all separate. Now if you guys want to actually keep up the quill books, you guys can. They're at every single traveler... I normally don't do them into reincarnation. Like as soon as I hit reincarnation, those are my other source of XP. I just remember that. A hey, level fifty-eight. It seems like we're almost done. Gotta go turn this in now. Then we gotta finish off these last two chain quests, which lead me over here and down there where the spider is. Where the spooters are. Damn spooters. I'm going to try and enjoy myself a lot more. Try. Emphasis on try. Sometimes I just don't got it in me unless it's... Unless it's an actual, like, story-driven game that I pay attention to. <laughs> Grand Potato is one of those... In my opinion, it's one of those story-driven games. Because it's hard to pay attention to any of the dialogue in here. Because it, from time to time, it feels like when you're reading the information does it feel like it's significant to anything at least the start of it oh wait no you just gave me a chain quest It wants me to get in to the Fountain of Youth. Okay, we'll do that one last because that one sounds weird. I didn't know you can get into the Fountain of Youth. Is there a, is there a dungeon in there? Actually, we should be doing this one first. Because this one's the lower uh, level one. But by the time we get to the, through the level 85 quests, I feel like we should be at least nearly level 90. So we're looking for treasure boxes, right? There's one. Should be one ahead of me somewhere. And again, they're not always there. So next spot. Well, the reds just indicate like where they can respawn. Ah, oh, there's us. How do we? Thank you. That's done. Oh, dear God, that's all the way up there. The uh, this next. The guardian of spirits.
Then we should be done with the lower area. If this is on should be. They might send me back down here to fight more spiders or crocodiles. Well, actually, we haven't gotten a quest for the wasps yet. I think those will be next. I wasn't sure if I can walk around that or walk in it. That that kind of concerned me. So I didn't even attempt it. Ah, this looks like a this looked like a totally different area at first. I I don't think I've ever been over there in that in that little section. I think with auto pathing it used to bring me like over from this direction. I'm still curious about this chain quest. Seems off. Apparently it's blocked. I cannot see it. This is an issue. Like I said, this needs to be changed or reworked or something. Because if people look at this quest, they're going to be confused. The Fountain of Youth is up here and this dot is covered. I guess I can do Columbus since I'm here. Oh, that's the miners. The one with the sword and shield are one I need. Say miners. Mariners. My bad. I was thinking of a. Uh, Corrupted, well condemned mines. Since this is around the level, I would actually start farming condemned mines. I am kind of hoping the utility starts to get better for this class. So I'm, I'm trying to get to level 60 as fast as I can because I'm curious of how the kit's going to change towards being a sharpshooter. Like I said, if I like the class enough past sharp sharpshooter, I will do a playthrough all the way up to Predator. And to be honest, Predator isn't like too far away. Hopefully you get a lot more AoEs. That's that's one thing I'm hoping for. Yeah, here's an AoE. Seems like it's gonna get a lot more AoEs. I don't know about the firearm or firearm part of it though. 
no arrows here. But if I actually had to say, like, what I'm hoping for more, I would say I'm hoping for more of... Hold up, so what's... Wait a minute. Okay, you want me to go back to the Lands of Sai again? Wait, no. Oh, you want me to go to Sprite Forest? Okay, I can do that. Had to reread that class before I get lost. Okay, this is another quest that sends me outside of this quest area. Great, got it. Gotta love it. Okay, thankfully it's all in the same place I need to go anyway. Which is uh, Ilya. I, had, I was talking about something, then I got distracted by trying not to get lost. <laughs> Hold on a second. So what is the next quest level? Level 30... Level 63? Okay. Yeah, it takes like small jumps next. For levels, eh, okay. Anyway, as I was doing, oh, yeah, I asked for the miss. Ew, out of my inventory. But I didn't know. I keep forgetting to sell these. I don't know why I'm still holding on to them. Even though I could use this one for the foraging. But farming my level 61 sprites just sounds better for me. I do have to update my gear. Well, my armor for sure. I'm going to start getting smoked in these new dungeons soon. Which is why I'm not looking forward to farming my, uh... Uh, let's see. Ilya, teleport. Turn in this quest first. I actually don't know how many uh, quests I have left, honestly. Then we'll have to go back there. Now I have to go to Moonlight Forest. Let's see. So by the time we make it to, that's actually funny because the renames are still there for those who haven't gotten our accounts back. Nobody's been trying to like outdo these at all <laughs> just to get them replaced.
Okay. Did I start a conversation again and completely forget? Probably did. Don't know what the hell you are. You also threw me off. Nope, dead. I, I don't know what's going on here. A lot of confusion just happened there. This is what happens when you have ADHD. You get distracted very easily. Oh yeah, I was talking about the... Um, the XP. Oh, those quests are just... Done now. Okay. That quest did not give me anything new afterwards. Okay, noted. We're just going to go back to teleport and teleport there. Seems like some kind of gold quest. Not sure how to activate it. Not going to try to. A lot of the stuff that are just sitting around here, none of us actually try and figure out. I was about to say, have I seen those wings before? Uh, right here. Okay, now we got a far journey up there. But by the time we finish and catch up to level... 85 quests, I think by the time around there would be like level 80 85 six, probably level 88 or level 89 to where the quests start going back to lower XP at least I think it's lower XP unless those quests up there are up to date I don't feel like they are, but, you know, we'll see. We will surely see. Oh, yeah. Okay, I could start doing these now. But the, my only issue is, is that the times aren't good for me. Because if it's on like work days, I would never have enough time to do these. And plus, somebody start up around my streaming schedule and I normally don't play Grand Potato on my stream most of the time. And uh, those are also bad times for me as well. So I don't know about that one. Hmm. I said, I've never been able to do Vine. Well, uh, Delphine. That's why I really don't like time content inside of, uh, MMOs. And why I normally just don't even try and do them out here. Most of the time I just say screw it. I guess I'll be the guy that just saves up money and just saves up the money and just buys it at an auction house. If it's sellable. If it's not sellable then A. I guess it just wasn't meant to be. <laughs> Okay, you need Soak Doll. That's a good way to uh, figure out your quest as well. If NPC tells you you need a certain thing. 
there's an NPC on the map that has something that says Soak Doll. Or adds a Soak Doll to your uh, inventory to take it to. So if you're ever in the, like I said, the achievement completing or being a completist in this game, that's one way to note. Ah, oh, Columbus. Um, he's not that far out, actually. The only reason I haven't resummoned my Panther is because he gets that uh, he gets that evasion skill, and dealing with these guys around our level. He's going to evade most of it anyway. No reason I say Columbus is far out because I mean, we're seeing him right here. Guess he walked all the way back over here then. Either that or somebody killed him, reset him. Yeah, here he is. I was standing on top of it. I was sitting here like, I was like, wait a minute. Ah, oh, shit. I'm not looking forward to grinding, um... Nightmare Corridor with this character. Especially if I can't one-shot the NPCs. Well, the enemies that are in there. Wait a minute. Who's this for? That you want me to go to Bone Reef, you little shit. Uh, but if I go down, uh, oh my god, god. Fuck it. So far, dude, it's... Like, that map is huge. Hey, can you fucking not, mate? Okay, so you were just supposed to walk towards the water. Oh my god. Even that's still a long walk. As I was looking at the map, just trying to see, like, have the maps always been this large? Okay, no. Some of them are closer up than others. Then some of them are more zoomed out than others. Alright, Bagel. Let's go. We have, we have a long walk to go through. But I am almost level uh, 59 now. With just like two more quests. Guess we can bring that up. I was showing a bet as soon as I turn this in, they're going to be like, hey, dude, you can go do Sunken Fortress now. Because <laughs> they seem to always give me the quest right before. I am actually truly ready to do that quest. Honestly, if I wanted to, I could also pay for somebody's sprite service. Save out the gold and uh, give them the resources to craft for me. I could. 
I really could. But I would also need a Sprite King, and those are pretty expensive. <laughs> Hey, your boy is now level 59. One more level, then Sharpshooter is open for me. I forgot this was a chain quest. Not gonna lie to you. I totally forgot this was a chain quest. I also don't want to get rid of this sword just because of the movement speed. <laughs> the extra movement speed has actually been nice. So, until I see that there's another sword with passive movement speed, I probably won't get rid of this sword. Triple attack. Okay. Triple attack is a half bad. It's just because bad curses reflect damage. That's not a warriors. I need gladiators. Gladiators have hammers and not axes. Oh no, they have hammers too. What is different about you guys? Nothing apparently. You just just your name. Is the thing I'm gonna have to look out for. Oh, that disappeared as soon as I was about to get it. That's pretty cringe, dude. Oh no, you do have different hammers. I just had to get more close to see it. I gotta start upgrading this mount. <laughs> what what can I upgrade it to? I gotta remember now because I can actually start upgrading this mount. Um, there it is. Yeah, I have enough to actually start upgrading it. I can upgrade it to sixty. Right now, I don't have enough reputation for uh, 55. Who? Oh, the dude that was up here at the Fountain of Youth. You just can't see the icon 
once again. I think right after this quest, I am going to go upgrade my mount. This is way too slow for me, dude. Like, holy crap. I'm so spoiled by 100% movement speed mounts. <laughs> That's crazy that somebody is looking for somebody with X Legend points. Even though X Legend points are fucking useless compared to any other game, because all their other games have separate currency. At least Astral Tail does. Astral Tail has separate points for some reason. I don't remember if Eden Eternal does. I think Aiden Eternal does as well. It's been a while since I've actually touched Aiden Eternal, to be honest. I think I got up to like level 50 or 70, because around like, no, level 50, I think. Or was it 70? I don't know, actually. I don't remember. But around the time that was the max cap, whichever the last cap was, I actually like stopped that. He's around here somewhere. There you are, you little shit. I'm hoping for a quick skill that slows the enemy. That's what I'm hoping for. I'm hoping for a normal skill that has good cooldown that slows the enemy for a sharpshooter. Because I hate using tainted shot. It is annoying. Because all it does is poison and the poison isn't even really all that good. I mean, it is extra damage per second. Every four seconds, though. So, honestly, it begins to use its usefulness. Unless it does upgrade, let's see. Does it upgrade? Tainted Shot turns into Poison Strike. Okay, Poison Strike starts to do true damage. But it actually still does the same. Oh, okay. If they're already poisoned, it starts to do true damage. That's, that's nice. But it still does damage every four seconds. So you only get negative eight. <laughs> yeah, you only get 800 damage in. Because they only last for eight seconds. Yikes. Oh. But once you change the predator or... No, I think this is a hawk. Hawkeye. Once you change the hawkeye, you get extra damage onto it. Okay. So it evolves three times. Interesting. Okay, it becomes decent. Because it actually buffs you when you're using it. If they're already poisoned. That's not too bad. Oh, whoops. Sorry, dude. You scared me. <laughs> so I had to jump back. Out of fear. Anywho. <laughs> We are finally done with that. Let's go upgrade our mount before we call it. 
for this uh, section. Now I'm gonna give me something to drink, then we'll do the next area, which will be um. <sighs> Woodlands. Gaia Woodlands. Another new area I never quested in. I think the only area I actually quested in was um was this area and beyond because there's a very long chain quest that starts in this area that you need to do. Because this very long chain quest goes all the way to a new map which is level 80 no it, uh, this chain quest goes no is that the right chain quest i'm thinking of hold on i gotta look up uh burning uh Kazlau's chain quest uh i don't have a browser up Uh, if I open that one, it's going to bring up everything at the same time. Let's see. Burning Kazlau quest. Burning Kazlau's quest. Yep. <laughs> yep. It starts at level 66. And it is... Desert Cry for Help. And I want you guys to know that this whole quest line is 11 quest lines. So, let's see. Burning Kazlo quest line. The first quest line is five quests. The second quest line is five quests. The third quest line is four quests. The fourth quest line is four quests. The fifth, fifth one is five quests. The sixth one is five, seven, four, eight is three, nine is four, ten is four quests, and quest line eleven is six quests. And then that's how you get Burning Castle. <laughs> so. You, you got a decent amount of quests to do if you want Burning Kazlo uh, Dungeon. Good luck. So as soon as you see Desperate Cry, Cry for Help, you better finish that whole quest line, buddy. Also, the whole quest line is online, so you can also know where you need to go, what you need to do. So, yeah. So even if you pass that quest, you can always go back and do that quest line. Uh, where are we going? Oh, yeah. Go get our mount changed. Oh yeah, there was this that's been in there for days on end and I just haven't haven't mustered up any thing to go get it. Wait, well, excuse me. Oh yeah, it separates. I forgot about that. I'm going to hold on to that. You can have this. I'll come back for it later when I need it. Oh, wait a minute. This gets mutated. Ah, but I would still need to kill the boss. 
just for the drop though. Shit. I actually might try that mutated dungeon again once I get my gear up to date. If you're wondering why I still haven't grabbed this, because I have no reason to use it yet. Ah, uh, yeah, there it is. God damn. Um, tch, shit. Uh, do I really want to buy that right now? Holy fuck, dude. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> nah, I'm good, brother. Well, I can buy this one. This was a lot cheaper. Cheaper. Just for like less than... Jesus Christ, that, that scaling makes no sense. Jesus. Foley. Holy shit. Jesus, brother. It's kind of crazy. Why is it this upgrading? Huh. I don't know. Anyway, we got a better mount anyway. I don't ever upgrade that mount. Okay, so don't need this anymore. Don't need this anymore. This is already in my archive. Now then, I feel a little bit faster. Thank God. Now, let's go here. Negative four gold. <laughs> that, that would never stop being a meme for me. Because it's just true, man. Every time I teleport, it's just negative gold here, negative gold there. <laughs> I know it sounds like I'm laughing on the outside, but I'm actually crying on the inside of every time I lose my gold. Anywho, hopefully you guys enjoyed. That was um, Misty Lands, Misty Wetlands. Now we're in Gaia's Woodlands, and I will see you guys in a few minutes. All right, then peace out. Level fifty nine. to